Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Project Sandbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete one of our self-paced workshops. So the first thing that you'll want to do to complete one of our self-paced workshops is obviously to register for it. So there's two ways you can do that. You can either do that on the Project Sandbox website, or you can do it on the My Experience platform, just under the Get Experiences list. Whichever way you choose, it will eventually lead you to this Moodle page. This is where you'll actually do the work of completing the workshop. So if you notice, there's a list of helpful links at the top, and then underneath those helpful links, you'll see a bunch of different workshops you can complete. Right now, there's only one workshop, but as time goes on, this will populate with more. In each workshop section, you'll see various links associated with that workshop. A couple things that you'll see is a workshop completion instructions document. You'll see a place to actually submit your final piece. And then you'll see um, various videos. Some would have activity directions and some won't. If you see videos with activity directions like this one right here, basically what that means is the video is going to pause itself as you're watching it and all the pauses will have instructions for you to do something with the project that you're creating in this workshop. Once you're finished watching the videos though, you've made sure you've went through the workshop completion instructions document to make sure you have everything done. You can submit your final project here. So whether that be an image you've created, a website, a video, whatever you're trying to create to complete this workshop. If you click on the submit link, it'll take you to a page that will allow you to submit either images or basically links to objects. So say if you create a video, you'll want to upload it to YouTube and give us a link to that video. If you created a website, you'll just want to give us a link to that website. But this is where you would do all of that. If you ever want to um, send us a link to a website of some sort, so whether that be things like YouTube or websites like I just mentioned, all you'll have to do is write in text of some sort. So like we could include something that says like my website. And then to link it up, you'll just highlight it and click that little link button. And then you can fill it out with whichever website that you've actually created or put in your YouTube URL, anything like that. After you'll just hit insert, and then you can see that it's actually linked up. Make sure you test your link too to make sure it works before you submit it. And then you'll just hit save changes or post or whatever kind of option leads you to that next step. And then it'll be given to us to actually review. If you send us something that doesn't adhere to all of the different elements of that completion checklist, we'll just send it back to you and ask you to make sure to finish those components that you didn't put in the final project. Once that's done though, we'll give you your credits on the My Experience transcript. If you run into any problems during the course of creating these things, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can do that by either that help form, sending an email to project.sandbox.uleth.ca, or contacting any of the members of Project Sandbox. I hope this information helped to get you through those self-paced modules, and I am incredibly excited to see what you actually create. If you need any help, you know where to find us. <laughs>